perfect right now. Mary Kay is here now with a check of the forecast that will be inching up quite a bit. Big time. That's our postcard view of our great city. But you're right. I think that lakefront's going to be packed this weekend, but we have to watch for a storm threat. We do have some big holiday heat building into the picture. It'll be definitely steamy and stormy at times, and temperatures will soar probably into the upper 80s in the suburbs. The heat to the south keeps inching northward as we go through time. But what we're noticing today, look at the dew point temperatures in the 50s. That's one reason why it feels so comfortable outside. And winds are out of the northeast right at the lakefront. The water temperature is 73. So downtown right now we have 69 degrees. At O'Hare it's 71 with that east northeast wind now at nine miles per hour. So our weather watchers are finding that temperatures were below average today. In fact, in Rensselaer 78, that was our warm spot. Gurney only 71. In Manuka 75 degrees. Valparaiso 71. So we're at a comfortable 72 from Mark. He's in Homer Glen out there with just fair clouds around and he was out on the bike path today talking about it saying it was so nice with the light wind, bright skies and the comfortable air. I think Mark went a little farther than normal because it was so comfortable out there. Well, our high today at O'Hare was 73 degrees. Normally we should be at 80. We're going way above average here as we step through your holiday weekend. High pressures overhead for now. We have sinking drying air underneath that. We call that subsidence. We have winds coming around in a clockwise position and that's what's giving us the lake breeze. Now, as the high moves away, we're going to look for some of this instability near Omaha and through Missouri. That's going to actually lift to the north along the tail end of this front. And at the same time, we have a new disturbance approaching from the west. So those two elements together are going to march into our region and just increase the rain chances as we step through the holiday weekend. It's going to take a little time, though, to moisten up the low levels of the atmosphere. So we're dry tonight. Then in the morning, it looks like we're going to have those building clouds and a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. But watch what happens by Saturday night. A squall line. This could bring more flooding rains to parts of Wisconsin that certainly don't need it. Our chance coming in here at 7 a.m. And then during the day Saturday, that's probably our most unsettled day of the holiday weekend. Here's 8 p.m. Saturday night. Then Labor Day will have a 30% chance of showers and storms in and high temperatures going to 87 degrees. After that, as we reach into next week, the jet stream unusually far to the north, and that is going to be sending some hot and steamy air into the picture for us next week. So we are not going to say goodbye to the heat, even though we're saying goodbye to the holiday after Monday. Look at Tuesday and Wednesday. Some of the suburbs easily making it into the lower 90s and that storm threat returning on Thursday. But whatever you have planned for this weekend, know that there will be many dry hours here or there. But I think Saturday has our highest chance for thunderstorm activity. Great. We will plan accordingly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary Kay.